Welcome to SketchUp for Schools Part 1. This is getting started in how to actually get SketchUp running on your machine. Now before we start, a couple of things we need to know. Firstly is that SketchUp obviously is used to model 3D buildings and three-dimensional objects. The buildings is what SketchUp is designed for, but it also does a very good job of woodwork um, items and other small objects that we would be making in the workshop. We will not be using it for its main purpose of architectural work. Uh, SketchUp for Schools is browser-based. That means you do not need to download and install the software on your computer. We simply need a browser and on that subject SketchUp was originally developed by Google so Chrome browser is recommended. It's certainly what I will be using in all of my examples. Finally SketchUp for Schools is part of your school's Google Suite and that means that work should be saved to your Google Drive and what that means in turn is that you need to be logged into your Google Suite to start. Now if you have sign in here and a little picture of a person here you're not signed in and and so what I'm going to do is ask you to do that and I'm going to pause while I do that myself and then we'll start the video again from there. So once you signed in you'll have a little um, colored letter here. That letter is the first letter of your first name. Before we actually start SketchUp itself what we need to do is make sure that we've got somewhere for the work to be saved and we talked about Google Drive. So if we click on these nine dots here and click on Drive it will go across to your Google Drive from there and what we need to do is make sure we have a series of folders to do it. Now I hope you already have this. You should be arranging your folders this way in your drive, but if not, then please click on New Folder. And the first folder we're going to create is for the year that we're in. It's currently 2020. Then we're going to double click into that. We're going to create a new folder for the subject, Design and Tech Engineering, where I use the abbreviation DTE. We're going to double click into that and we're going to create a new folder for the work we're doing, which is called SketchUp. We have to create these folders in Drive before we start in SketchUp. It is not possible for us to create those folders from within Drive as we might do in usual programming software, usual software on your computer. So now to start SketchUp for schools, we again come back to these nine dots over here and this time we scroll all the way down and we get SketchUp for schools. We just click and it'll open in a new tab and it will take a little while to do so. Uh, we'll see what happens when it starts it might ask us to log in once again. If it does, go ahead and log in. Um, as I said, it takes a little while. So mine, I've actually logged in before. Um, I've got some old files here which are not going to be there. Um, but I need to, you may be asked to log in. If you do, then go log in using Google in exactly the same way. You'll come up with a home page here. Yours might look a little bit different the first time you get here. Uh, and it might give you an option to take a tour and go ahead and take the tour if you like but the tour itself, the tour video is slightly different to the current version of SketchUp on the um, online. So what we do need to do to get started is we're going to create a new folder, a new um, model and we're going to click create new simple template in millimeters. Everything we do in the workshop is going to be in millimeters. And that gives us SketchUp running. Now before I go any further from this, what I am going to show you is that there is a different way of starting SketchUp. We have a URL here and what we're able to do is create a bookmark in the bookmarks toolbar. You can see I use it extensively and I already have one called SketchUp. If you do not have it then come over here to the three dots, click on there and we're going to go to bookmarks. Now there are a couple of things. Firstly your tick needs to be here, that needs to be on to show the bookmarks bar and that means that will be visible and what you can do is bookmark this tab and that'll add SketchUp for Schools on your bookmark. If you want to um, edit it so that it's a smaller one then what you can do is you can use your bookmark manager and you can arrange things that way. But I suggest that you do put a shortcut on or bookmark on your bookmark toolbar for SketchUp and in fact also one for Drive. It will make life a lot simpler for you and it means you do not need to go through that uh, Google site, the Google page, nine dots and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Alright, so now we have a quick overview to give you an idea of what's going to be coming of the layout. This is what we're going to be calling our modeling space. Over here we have the main menu. Uh, we're going to go through this main module uh, menu in part two of the series. Here we have the toolbars. We're going to use part three and part four, two separate videos on these toolbars. One to discuss the toolbars themselves and the second one to discuss some shortcuts for it.
Part five, we're going to discuss the panels that are down here. And then part six, what we're going to do is discuss how we change this modeling space to suit our needs. Because what we have, this being an architectural software, we have green ground, blue sky, and a person, and we are scaled on that basis. We will not be making something that's going to be sitting in an, uh, a landscape like this. And so we're going to make it a whole lot simpler for ourselves. Uh, that's where we're going to progress. So please carry on watching with the series. Uh, make sure you, once you've got yourself started that you create yourself a shortcut and you can get yourself going again from there. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.